Hello friends welcome back this is Omit from Magnet and today we are going to create this awesome environment scene inside Unreal Engine 5. So first take a look what we are going to create today. So if you are new to this channel, I recommend you to check my videos and if you find those videos useful, please do subscribe this channel and turn the notification on. And here is the name for those people who has already joined me as a member. So if you really want to support me, you can also join me as a member. So let's get started. Okay, so let's collect all the assets that we are going to use for this project. So first we are going to collect this Minerva model pack from the kit bash. So first we have to go to this uh, our browser and then we go to this kit bash official site and then we go to this search bar here and type Minerva. And then you will find this mission to Minerva. Just click over here. And then you are have to choose the software so in this case we are going to use this unreal so we choose the unreal and then we use uh, change this render engine to native and you will see you can also change the resolution of your assets so maybe we use this 2k or 4k if you want and just click on this download but maybe in your case uh, it will um, uh, go through some another steps uh, but don't worry this is a free model pack so just uh, do the steps and you will uh, finally going to download this model from here okay just click over here and it will download okay then we going to uh, collect this canyon scene so this is from the epic game marketplace so just open the epic game launcher here and then go to these samples and then just go down over here and you will see this value of ancient just click over here and you will see this project but before you download this project make sure that your uh, c drive have enough space and then you going to click over here that is the create project and then you going to specify the path where you want to download this and the select the version maybe it is available in 5.1 if it is then just select this 5.1 and click over here that is the create project okay so let's open this project first so when you complete your download you will see this folder that is the value of ancient just double click over here and you will see this unreal project file so just click and it will open okay when you open the project you will see this window here so what i do here that and just migrate my required content from this project so i go to this content folder and then you will see this ancient content just double click here and then go to this geometry and then you go to this mask so we are going to migrate all these assets to our main project so i just right click over here and you will see this option that is the migrate just click okay and then you will see this window here so there are all things are checked but we don't uh, need all these things so we just uncheck the unnecessary things here that is this audio modulation and the control rig and the niagara just we use this game module okay and just hit okay and then you prompt to your where you want to migrate this so in this case this is our project folder and inside the project folder go to this content and then you select this folder but i have already migrated this mass folder here so i'm not going to migrate it again and then i close this project and open my actual project 
so here we are in our main project and i am using the third person template so if you not find this just go to this content drawer go to the add and then you go to this add feature content pack and just select this third person or first person you whatever you want okay so here it is but i am not going to use this level so i'm create a new level here so i go to the file create a new level and i am making a empty level here so just select this empty level and create okay so first we create our lighting setup so for this go to the window and then go to the environment light mixer and click on this create skylight create the atmospheric light create the sky atmosphere create the volumetric cloud and create the height fog okay and then we close this then we go over this skylight and we turn on this real-time capture and then we go over this exponential height fog and then we go down here and you will see this volumetric fog just turn this on okay and then we create a landscape for our scene so we go to the select mode here go to the landscape and just create the landscape here okay and then we go back to our main mode and then we put the assets from the ancient content so for this go to this content drawer and then we go to this ancient content then we under this ancient content we go to this geometry and we go to the mass folder here and you will see all the assets here so for the background we are going to use some extra large assets so for this we go to this unique and you will see this one that is the double excel model so we just click and drag and drop to our scene here okay just like this and you will see it is a very large uh, model so we put it in the background here so we in order to move this we go from the top and we just move it like this okay so and then we go back to our main position here and we put it over here okay so for the editing time we decrease our engine scalability to maybe high uh, and then we select this one and maybe rotate it just like this and put it over here okay and then also we are going to duplicate it and in order to duplicate we have to press and hold the alt key and drag any axis to duplicate this then we rotate this by changing this rotating gizmo from here or you can also press e to bring the rotation gizmo and just rotate it just like this okay so it is not specific so you can uh, do your own design so i'm just showing you that what else you can do by using these assets so maybe i put it over here and you can see that it's uh, really creates a nice result because those assets are really amazing so maybe we put something over here maybe put it little down okay and you can see that it really makes a large scale environment for our scene and also duplicate it and then we put it over here and also we put it little down just like this so now you can see that it really creates a nice result to our scene okay so enough for the background now we are going to work on the surface so for the surface let's see what we have here so we go back from this folder and then we go to this erosions ground just double click here and you will see this nice material here so we just select this material select our landscape and then we go over here that is the landscape material and just click on this arrow okay so maybe you can see this look nice but if you see the tiling here so you can just double click here and then you go to the tiling and you can change the tiling from here and then we save this okay so maybe we can select this one 
and we put it little close so we can narrowing our viewport here okay uh, just like this and we can dip it down or maybe we put it over here okay so now we go to the content drawer and now we're going to put the minerva assets so for this we go down here and that is the mission to minerva and then i go to this actor double click on it and you can see that there are so many models that we can use and those models are really amazing so if i put this one just click and drag and to your scene here and if i put it little behind and you can see that it really blends with the scene and it really creates a nice result so if i move it over here and maybe we put it here and you can see that it really creates a nice result to our scene or maybe we can rotate this and then we put behind just like this and you can see that it creates a nice distant buildings and also if you want you can put it here okay so when you put those assets because those assets are very heavy in size it will uh, slow up your rendering uh, but if you see that those assets also are nanites so if I go to this lit option here and then go to the nanite visualization and if I go to these triangles you can see that these models are also nanite enabled but in default the Minerva assets are not nanite enabled because if you go here and if you put these assets here and then if I put it here and then if i go to this uh, lit option and go to the nanite and go to these triangles you can see that this model is not nanite enabled it's because if i go to your main mode here you can see that this model have this translucent object here uh, but unfortunately uh, nanite doesn't support the translucent of materials so if i select this model and then go over here and then right click and go to the browse, browse to asset here it is and then if i double click over here and it will open the blueprint here go to this viewport and you will see this so here it is and then if i go to this actual static mesh here here it is and if i click on this and you will see this, this object is here and then if i right click and you will see the nanite and you can see that the nanite is disabled for this and if i enable this and then i compile this and if i minimize and you can see that now this thing is nanite enabled and go to the lit nanite visualization and triangles and you can see that this object is nanite enabled but the problem is we lose the translucent material here so i encourage you to change all the assets to nanite when you put it into the environment and when you done with your design you just uh, disable the nanite for those object which have this translucent material so in order to make all the assets to nanite so you do one thing that select one of the object here and then press ctrl a to select all those assets then right click and it will take little time then go to this nanite and enable nanite for selected object and it will take little time to compile all the shaders uh, but uh, in the end it will change all the assets to nanite so now we going to go back to our main folder here and get then go to the actor select this one maybe we delete this for now so now we going to design our scene so again go to this content drawer and we can use this one because this model is very popular i guess because it look really amazing and then i put it behind here and also duplicate it and put it over here 
maybe we put it over here so two chimneys are place in the same place here okay and then we go to this content drawer and let's see what we have here so for this middle portion we going to use this one so just put it here and then we place it over here and you can see that when you enable the nanite you can see that all the translucent materials are gone but don't worry we can work on it later on so just put it here maybe we can do one thing that we rotate this to this angle and also we decrease the scale just like this and put it over here and also we select this one and this is very huge so we are going to decrease the scale of this as well and also we put it here okay and also we select this uh, asset and place it here okay and then also we select this one and put it a little down okay so now we go back to our main place so now again let's see what we have here so maybe this one look nice so we just put it here and it have some antennas so we put the antennas over this uh, cliff so it can catch the signal from far behind so we put it over here and maybe we decrease the scale okay and put it here okay just like this so and you can see that uh, there is no surface so we also do one thing that we duplicate this and then we just extend the surface like this okay so now you have the idea that how you can put or manage your scene so again we duplicate this model to this side and for this we are going to rotate this and then we put it over here maybe we put this over here and also we do one thing that we duplicate it one more time and put it far behind and also rotate this and put it here maybe we rotate it into this angle and then we put it over here now far behind okay so you can just see that uh, we also take care of the distance field here okay so now let's put another object so maybe we can put some <coughs> So let's put another one maybe let's see what we have here so now we're going to put this one so we just put it here and maybe we put this and also we rotate this into this angle and you can see that it have some cranks over here so something if we want to uh, put over the mountain we can use those uh, cranes and also we can duplicate this and also we put it over here so just put it here and also we decrease the scale So just like this okay and you can see that uh, eventually we populate our scene and it really look amazing okay so it's all depends on you that how you can design but you can get the idea that 
what you can do by using those assets so these are really nice assets and i am very happy that they make those assets for free so now we going to put some other cliff model to our scene so go to the ancient content again then go to the geometry go to the mass and let's put some other assets here so maybe we put this one so just click and drag and drop here and we put it over here maybe put this one here and also duplicate this so we can fill the gaps here so maybe we just rotate this into this angle and put it over here okay and also we go to the content drawer and let's see what we have so i like this model here so i just click and drag and drop here and maybe we scale it up and then we put it over here okay and again we go over here and let's see what we have so we have this one so i just put it and then we dip it down so this model helps to make some uneven surface here so we're going to use this for multiple times so make a nice surface and also you can see that this model have some uh, rough edge here so make sure that you also hide this side by using this model itself so just duplicate and put it over here and there so it can fill the gaps here okay and then also we duplicate it one more time and maybe we increase the skill for this and now it can fill the gaps okay so this is how you can fill the gaps from here and there and also let's see what we have uh, for the surface so maybe this one also works so or maybe this one so we just bring it up and you can see that it also makes a nice surface so we put it here and also duplicate this and we rotate the i mean we rotate this and also we duplicate it so make a uneven surface so just duplicate it multiple times and then just fill the gaps so just like this and also we put some over here okay so now you can see that it is really going to create a nice result to your scene okay so now put some other assets here so go to this content drawer and then we go to the mission to minerva and instead of go to this actor we go to the geometry folder here and you can see that all the individuals models here so first we make some uh, piping system here so we go down here and let's find the object that we need here so here it is we just drag and drop here and then we put it little higher and also we can decrease the scale so now you can see that it um, uh, have some nice piping system here so we going to put it here or maybe we is rotate this into this angle or maybe this angle and then we dip it down and then we duplicate it and we then we rotate this and you can see that it can fit with the pipes so it is all modular so it can really fit nice here okay just like this and also we go to duplicate it again and make this here and also we joined these pipes by using some other objects so we go to this here and we have some tankish like structure here so we just drag and drop here and maybe it have the storage system so all the things that run from these pipes are stored to this tankish here so we scale it up little bit and just 
those here okay just like this and also we duplicate it into this side and just put it here okay just like this so it's kind of a story so you can make your own story just like this okay and also we duplicate this and also put it here and make sure that this pipe is connected here so just like this and also we duplicate this and connect here okay so now you can see that it makes some sense and also we put some here okay so now you can see that it really makes a nice result to our scene so now we have other props so let's put those so we have this uh, tower like structure so we put it here and maybe we put it here and and also we make it tall by duplicate the same object here and also we put those here okay just like this and also we put some pipes to this so it doesn't make any sense uh, but it will look nice so i put it here and we go to close here so maybe we just go here and let's build the scene from here okay just like this and also we duplicate it here and then i duplicate it again here maybe put it here and then again we duplicate it at the top okay so it makes a nice touch to our scene so you can make this uh, by just select this and also select all those uh, small object here and then we duplicate all together by hold the alt key and just duplicate it here put it here then again duplicate it into this side and then to this side so it doesn't make any sense but you can see that at the end it uh, look amazing so just put some here and there randomly and also we duplicate here and put it at the very far distance here okay so now you can see that it makes a nice touch to our scene and also maybe this not uh, fits here so we make it a little small maybe put it here and also we put it here and also this model is big here so i just decrease the scale of this and put it here and then we link this to here okay and also we can duplicate it and just put it here so we just back from this folder and go to this actor we going to use this junction model here so we just put it here and you can see that it also have some uh, translucent material but because it's nanite enabled so we can see this but don't worry we can fix it after we set up all the scene so maybe we put it here and dip it down and then again we go to use this one so we duplicate this and maybe we go to the top and then we rotate this so you can see that all the models are nanite enabled so this is why we can put uh, so many models into this scene and my pc is not 
so good PC it have only the GTX 1060 graphics card but still I can work properly here so just duplicate it and put it here and there and just make a loop line here and also we duplicate this junction and put it over here and then we are going to put some other objects so go to here and maybe this one will fit here so let's come over here and maybe we use this road tunnel to join here okay so now it can make some sense here okay and also we go over here and we can rotate this and also do the same for this one and put it here okay and now we're going to put some pads here on which the vehicles are land so we go over here and out from this group go to the geometry and let's find some helipads so these are the pads we're going to use so just put it here and you can see these are the very large in size so we're going to decrease the scale just like this and then we put it over here okay and also we put another one here or maybe we can decrease the scale just like this and also delete this one because this is the right size so we are going to duplicate this again here and put it here and we delete this one okay so we can also duplicate it one more time to this side as well also duplicate this one to this side okay and now we going to put some other assets so maybe we put this one to here and also we put it here or maybe we decrease the scale just like this just fill the gaps just like this and also duplicate and put it here and then also we put some other objects here so this one and then put it little high here decrease the I mean decrease the scale just like this okay so now if we go back to our main view here and you can see that it really makes a nice result okay so now we're going to do one thing that we make a corridor here and when we pass through the corridor we can reveal the actual place here so we're going to duplicate these assets so i just duplicate it and then we rotate this and we put it here okay maybe we can rotate this into this angle and then we put it here just like this okay and also we duplicate it into this side and as you can see that i'm using the same assets because it fits here but if you think that it's not fit you can use another object so it's all depends on you that uh, how you can design so you can see that we have this corridor like structure and when you go through here we can see the actual scene here 
okay so now we can also design our corridors so we go to this ancient content go to the geometry and go to the mass and let use some other objects from here so maybe we use this one or this one so i put it here and we scale it up like this and then i use this to here or maybe i rotate this and i put it here okay and also we duplicate this and put it here okay so now do the same for this side as well so i just duplicate and put it here and then again duplicate and put it here and again duplicate okay so make a random scene here just like this and you can see it is very easy but you have to have a artistic skill so you can put your object into a right place and it can make some sense and also it look amazing so just make it and take your time to design your scene so this is a tutorial so maybe my design is not that good that i show in my actual video but you can realize that how you can make the scene okay so this look amazing and maybe we can change our uh, sun position so i press and hold the ctrl and l and then i move my mouse to put the sun into a right place here so maybe this look nice and you can see that our fog is so much so i go to the exponential height fog and i go to the fog density here and i decrease the fog density okay just like this and i also place my fog little top here so you can see that if i go here and put my fog little top you can see the changes here so just like this i can put my fog little top here and then i go back to our main scene and you can also decrease the fog little bit too much okay so now you can get a nice result so maybe we place our sun into a nice position here okay so this is what we do here and also we can decrease the height of this corridor okay just like this okay so go back to the minerva assets so here it is and then we going to put some other things like uh, this one so maybe we put it here and then i put it little higher here and then i rotate this into this angle okay and also we do one thing that we can create a road like structure here so maybe we put it over here and then we rotate it and then we duplicate it to make a road here and then duplicate one more time here okay just like this and also do or maybe we can delete this one and put a stair here so go to the content drawer again and maybe we use this stair here so we just rotate it and we put it till higher and then we just connect it here or maybe we have to rotate this so we toggle the rotation gizmo and then we just put it over here okay 
okay so now we going to put some other assets now we go to this actor folder and we going to use this one so we just put it over here okay and uh, let's see what it look like so maybe we can put it over here so it doesn't make any sense but just do it because in the end it will make a nice result and also we can put it over here and we rotate this and also rotate it in that angle and put it here so this is the uh, scene and maybe we can put some other assets over here so let's see so maybe we put it here and also we duplicate it and place it here and there just populate the scene and just like this okay and also this side is so empty so we're going to put something also there so maybe let's see maybe we can put this one so we just put it here and also we change the position and place it over here okay just like this and also we let's see so maybe this thing will fit nice or we can scale it up and then we place it over here okay so enough for the design and i think you uh, get the idea and you can put or uh, other uh, assets here and there so you can make a nice design to your scene but for now uh, it look nice so now we're going to put some uh, vegetations over here so for the vegetations i use some mega scan assets so go to the content and then right click and click on this add to quick cell content okay when you open the quick cell you have to log in here so i am log in here and then i go to this uh, collections and then i go to these vegetations and then if i go down here you can see this one that is the dead uh, vegetation so it will fits according to our scene so you just click on here and then you just click on this download and make sure that uh, what quality you want so i use the high quality here and when you complete the download you just click on this add button here and it will add to your scene and then in order to use this go to this content drawer then you go to this uh, mega scan folder here and you will find the plant if you download the plant then it will place in the 3d plant folder just download uh, double click here and then here it is so in uh, 5.1 we also change the vegetations uh, to nanite so in order to change them to nanite just select this one and the last one so it will select all the uh, plants model here and then right click then go to the nanite and just click on it that is the enable nanite for selected then we go to this uh, select mode option here and go to the foliage option then we go to this content drawer and select all those foliage and just click and drag it to here and then we select all this by pressing ctrl a and then go down here and you will see there is the option some options and you will see this painting option inside the painting you will see the density so we're going to change this to maybe 200 and then we also go down here and you will see the scaling make sure that the scaling is uniform and then we change the minimum scale to maybe uh, 2 and the maximum scale to 4 okay and also we go up here and change the brush size according to your need and also change the density and let's paint some foliage here so maybe we put some foliage over here and there and you can see that this foliage also act as nanite model so first we put some uh, foliage over here and there and then we will see the nanite visualization for these plants okay so maybe we put something here okay 
okay and also you can see that uh, some of the vegetations are grow in unwanted places so we can also delete this by press and hold the shift key and just click so it will delete the unwanted vegetations from here okay and also do the same for here and also here okay so now you can see that it uh, really gives a another dimension to our scene and also you can see that uh, the surface is not that good so we're going to also change this so go to our main mode here and as you can see that our foliage are nanite enabled so if we go to the lit option go to this nanite visualization and change the triangle and you will see that all the vegetation is also nanite so we go back to our main uh, lit rendering system here and then we going to use this surface model so we just duplicate this and we place it here okay and you can see that it makes some nice surface here okay and also we duplicate it and then place it here and there okay and also we put some other minerva assets to here so it will uh, look nice so we can go to this minerva go to the actor and let's put those things here so maybe we can put some uh, broken things over here and there and also we increase the scale and then also we go to this folder here and put these pipes here go down here and put this thing here or maybe we can delete this and put it here so these are the some piping system here so we put it here and then we duplicate it okay so now you can see that it uh, really creates a nice scene and also this thing is uh, blocking here so we going to put it little back and then you can see that it really makes some sense and also we can duplicate it and make it under this cliff okay so these are the underground uh, piping system so it look really really amazing and also we put some other assets to here and there so maybe this one and also we put some other assets so maybe we put this one and also we increase the scale for this and we put it over here and there okay so and now again we go to our uh, foliage mode here and put some foliage here as well so now this is uh, for the designing part so now we're going to put some a vehicle so we're going to put a spaceship over here so in order to put the spaceship we go to the content drawer and inside this actor folder you will find at the bottom here is a spaceship so we just put and drag and drop here and you can see it is a very huge in size so we're going to decrease the scale first and then we rotate this and then we place it over here okay so you can uh, see that the legs are fit on the ground okay so this is how you put this uh, spaceship uh, but what about to animate this spaceship so for the thrusters i am using a particle system so i download this particle system from the marketplace so if i go to this epic game launcher here so here it is that is a rocket thruster exhaust 
and you can just download it from here and it is not necessary but if you want to make some cool trusting vehicle you can use this one so import it to my project here and now we're going to put this thruster into this uh, spaceship so first we go to this spaceship and then we find this browse to asset and here it is then you double click on it to open this blueprint then we go to this viewport here and now we going to put this thruster here so in order to put the thruster uh, to these wings we go to this content drawer and we just click and drag it to this so maybe we going to use this one so let put uh, this uh, thruster under the wing so make sure that you put it into right way so first we rotate this to this angle and then I put it over here okay and just put it here okay so when you put it into a right place now you can do one thing that here it is the rocket exhaust and first you select this wing and identify that what wings this is so that is the uh, cargo ship a thruster b and we're going to link this uh, particle system with this thruster okay so we just put and then we go just drag and drop to here okay so in this way this thruster is now locked with this wing so if we rotate this wing you will see that thruster also connected with this okay so you can do this uh, for all the four wings here so it will be very easy for you and when you put on uh, the thruster you can just link with the thruster with the specific wings so it can lock with it okay so now i'm not going to do this for the all wing because it's already a very big tutorial so i just compile it here okay and then i close this and now you can see that uh, these wings uh, have this particle system okay so now you can understand that how you can do this so now we going to do one thing that we going to make a scene by using this environment so how we do this first we going to make a sequence for this level so we go to this button and make a sequence and maybe we name this as tutorial and save it okay and then we also make a camera for our scene so we go to this box again and go to the cinematic and make a scene a camera actor okay and then we select this camera and right click and then we click on this snap object to view okay just like this and also we bring this camera to our sequence here and now you can see that this is our sequence and this is the camera okay and now we go to this camera and we decrease the focal length to make a very wide angle shot and you can see that it really makes a nice result to our scene so now we are going to animate our spaceship so maybe our spaceship will land from the sky to this place so how we do this select the spaceship here and just bring this spaceship to our sequence here okay just like this and then we going to select this spaceship and go to the track and we going to animate the legs and also the wings so how we do this so let's uh, we put all this thruster here so we just click here and it will apply it here and then also do the same for the other thrusters just like this and also we go to the track and this and also uh, add the last thruster here so we have all the four thruster here just like this and also we put some transformation uh, switch for all those thrusters so we can animate this thruster over time so we select all the thruster and click on this track button here 
and we just click on this transform okay and also do the same for all the thrusters so we just click on the track and click on this transform also do you know, the same for this one as well and do this for this one okay and now we're going to make some room here and this is our whole body of this spaceship so we also put a transform switch for this one as well so we put a transform and this transform uh, switch also work for all the component of this so here is the transform which is the common transform for all this component so first we animate it so we click on here and then we put this uh, spaceship little higher here just like this okay and then we go to the very end maybe here and we just animate it to the bottom okay just like this so now if we play this timeline here you can see that this thruster is moving downwards okay and also one thing we have to do that we go to this transform just expand this go to the rotation and maybe we make a keyframe to the rotation and also go to the very beginning here and then we rotate it so maybe this angle so now if you see that when it uh, come to the ground it rotate a little bit so just like this and it also make a little bit of uh, sense that these things really fly okay and now also we also rotate the wings so how we do this because we have all the wings here and also we have the transform switch here so we just make a keyframe here or maybe we can expand this and and then make a keyframe to the rotation here and we can rotate this so maybe we can rotate into this angle and then we go to the very end and you can see that uh, the rotation and we can also rotate back to the this angle like this okay so if you now play this you can see that if you play it you can see that it rotates okay so you can do this animation to for the all the wings so it will be very easy for you okay so this is the scene and now maybe we can make a camera animation for this so we go to this camera actor this is the camera component and we make a keyframe to this transformation and maybe we put our camera over here and then we go to the very end and we can make a simple camera animation here and you can see that here and maybe we can play this so let's play and you can see that or maybe we can make a little room here so you can see properly so let's see wow okay and maybe we can slow down the animation when the uh, spaceship come to the ground so we select this vehicle and then we go to this transformation and select the end key right click and we change this to this uh, cubic uh, interpolation so it can land smoothly okay so this is the trick for this scene so i think you have the idea that how you can make uh, this scene and uh, uh, this is a very uh, big tutorial i guess because i go through all the steps and i put it uh, very slowly so you can understand that how you can build the entire scene and if you uh, see my original video you can uh, see other environment but the basic is the same so you can just apply this technique and make uh, another scene by using these assets
okay so let's do some rendering settings so first we select our camera and then go over here and maybe we can make some room here and we go down and under this uh, lens properties first we go to this bloom option here and we change the method to this one and also we increase the intensity little bit okay just like this and then we collapse this then we go to this chromatic abrasion and we put little bit of chromatic abrasion here and also we increase the offset then we go to the dart mask and then we make this uh, on and we change the texture so maybe we can put some thing this one okay and also we increase the intensity from here okay and then again we go down here and you will see the lens flare we turn on the lens flare and maybe increase the intensity little bit not much okay so now if we go to this setting and we go to this engine scalability and change this to epic and it will decrease our performance but you can see that it really look amazing and also we can change our sun position here maybe and now you can see that it really look amazing okay and also we go to the camera here and maybe we decrease the camera focal length here and maybe we can put it over here and you can get the all big environment here and we delete this keyframe and make this keyframe from the beginning and now if we play this and you can see that wow it really makes or maybe we intersect this thing is so make sure that you put your camera into a right position here so maybe here so let's see or we put it here so now you can see wow it really makes a nice result to our scene or maybe for this keyframe we change this to cube here so let's see and maybe this not match so we'll put it here or maybe we put our camera over here okay so now you can see wow so this is it and this is the basic uh, for this scene that how i build the entire environment and uh, i think you really enjoy this and get um, some new ideas to how you can make this and yes uh, one thing i uh, forgot that uh, so all these assets are nanite enabled so in order to disable the nanite to show this translucent uh, material we select this and then we go to this browse to asset okay so let's find where it is so here it is just double click here then go to this viewport here and select this model and then we click on this find button here and you will find this model here and then right click go to this nanite and disable the nanite for this model and then you compile this and just close this and you will see this nice nice translucent material here okay and also do the same for this one as well so we select this one then right click and click on this browse to asset and then we double click here then go to the viewport select this model click on this browse button here 
and then right click go to the nanite and just disable this and then we compile this close this and then you will see this nice translucent material and also do the same for this one browse to asset double click then go to the viewport select this one just click on here right click and just disable this and then we compile and now you can use the actual material here and it really creates a nice result so if we delete this keyframe here and now if you play this you can also get this nice translucent material but you can see that now it going to laggy but don't worry when you render it it will be a smooth animation okay so this is the idea behind this whole scene so i hope you really enjoy this and if you want to know that how you can render it in high quality you can check my previous tutorial on unreal engine because this tutorial is already a very big tutorial so i am not going through that but uh, you can get the idea if you watch my previous tutorial on unreal engine so i hope uh, this will be very helpful tutorial for you and if you like this video please watch my other videos and if you like those videos please do subscribe this channel and turn the notification on and thank you for those all the members who have joined me as a member so if you really want to support me you can also join me as a member so this is for today and we will see in my next video so till then take care and bye bye